Hi guys. So we're <laughs> we've done two cruises now. We're we're not experts by any means. No, really not. <laughs> but we did two uh, cruises very close together. Yeah, literally we did, three weeks apart. <laughs> yes, we did the P and O Iona. Mm -hmm. And we also did the MSC Virtuosa. Right, so both ships are pretty similar in size. Yeah. I suppose they're both classed as like the larger cruise ship. Yes. I think the P&O Iona carries 5,000, roughly, not exact, 5,200 guests. Yes. And the MSC Virtuosa is 6,000... 100. 300. 6,300. So, yeah, 6,300 guests, yeah. I think it is, yeah. So they're both larger ships. They both are fairly new. I think the Iona was in service has been in service since August 2021, and the Virtuosa I think a couple of months before that, around the May. So the fairly new ships, yep. and they're our first two cruise ships that we've been yep. on. And I know some of you have asked, um, which one do you prefer? Yep. What like? Oh, we've seen your Iona ones, and we won't go on that. But now we've seen your MSC ones, and we also would like to go on that. So we're just going to cover five quick categories. Yes. What we've picked, what we thought we could side by side compare yeah. and kind of sh show if you. One was better over the other. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So we'll get into that now. So the ship itself. So walking onto both ships. They were both equally gave us like the wow factor. Yeah. Iona was, you know, especially it was our first cruise ship we've ever been on. So we, yeah. uh, going into that, we uh, we did have nothing to compare it nope. to. I'd say going into like the ship and the atrium and the theming, the decor throughout, the Iona is more of like a traditional. Yeah, it's what decor. I expect. It's modern, but a more traditional modern. More from a British cruise ship. Yeah. It's yeah. not as. In your face. That's a good thing to point out is yeah. MSC is an Italian cruise line, P and O yeah. is British. So So yeah. The British P and O, it's not as in your face, you know, it's a bit more subtle. Yes. A bit more, you know, let's say a little bit quieter. Whereas comparing it to the MSC, it's more in your face, it's glitzy, it's, it's chrome, glad, it's, it's shiny, shiny. It's, yeah. it's more glamorous. It's modern in terms it's of the louder. tech, yeah. like screens everywhere, like the big... Um, the big LED panels pan on the roof. Yeah, the big LED, LED mm. screen with lights going, shows going. A like robot it's more, bartender. Yeah. It's more glitzy, modern, it's yeah. more of a louder ship. Not in in volume but in you know yeah. look at me i'm a very loud glitzy <laughs> yeah ship. in terms of like showing off and yeah. the sea's kind of going oh well, look at me yeah. i'm all here yeah, yeah. <laughs> whereas p and i was like yeah i'm still modern but i'm yeah. kind of quietly just over here like yeah own. i'm just like, over here doing <laughs> me thing um but again like i like say i always joke about this but i'm like a magpie so i'm drawn to like shiny stuff and like i prefer so i prefer the msc shiny steps the yeah. glitz and the glam kind of thing that's me personally yeah. um obviously well, it depends what kind of deco you're into yeah. that kind of thing don't exactly. you? and what what you're drawn to yeah yeah but then um just comparing the atriums the iona is a lot bigger it's yes. a lot more open space yeah. but that's because the msc has also got the gallery of virtuoso yeah. where a lot of your restaurants and bars are so yeah. it's got a smaller atrium but then there's not as much stuff going on in the atriums, as in no. that's not where your uh, your kind of party-ish kind of things, or your sound no. disco in your white nights and stuff. The hub of the Virtuosa ship is more the gallery, yes. uh, the gallery of Virtuosa, where all your shops and things are. Where the atrium on the Iona was your hub, kind yes. of thing. Yeah. Where, but then, not um, not knocking the MSC, but because the atrium was a bit smaller, you didn't get the good as wide of a glass view of the sea or no. wherever you were pulled up docked up for the day whereas because the the p and o had a, a wider atrium they had great views didn't they a, a yeah. wider glass view yeah, which of, i liked what, yeah which that. was a nice view uh you know you could there were still areas in the in the yeah. msc one where you could go and get a drink yeah, sit yeah. there you could just look out the windows but if you want to stand in the compared, middle yeah. and just look a wide shot of wherever you are, whether that's the sea yeah. or whether that's, you know, one of the docks you're in, it was just a, a better view yeah. from the P&O. And also the specialty restaurants, there was more of those in P&O's atrium and they yes. were more open. 
and not so yeah. much. But they, they looked really nice. They were really clean. Like I loved the theming of mm. them. They, but they were more like part of the atrium. So people were yeah. walking past. People were walking through. Whereas on the Virtuosa, the speciality restaurants were more enclosed. Yeah, which... You know, not so... They, were, they weren't part of mm. the atrium. No, but that well. gave them better theming. Yeah. So, like, just to compare quickly, because they're similar, on p and you had the Keelan Cow, which was their yes. steakhouse. Yeah. And like we say, that was in the atrium, so it was open, and it didn't really have any theming. It kind of had to go <clears> with, like, the rest <throat> of the, 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 atrium. the atrium. Yeah. Whereas the Butcher's Court... Yeah. Was more of a leather seat. It had that more steakhouse-y kind of milk, more of a, a smokehouse kind of vibe. It was a bit darker. You had, like say, you had the yeah. dark leather seats and stuff like that. And same was like the Mexican. That was like amazingly yes. themed. But if you think that was in the open atrium, no. imagine looking at this mm. modern, sophisticated atrium, then seeing like this colourful kind of like Mexican yeah. themed... Like, it just wouldn't go, so no. I felt like they could go to town a bit more with the theming yeah. on the Virtuosa, because so, he didn't have to fit in. No, but so you, th there was some enclosed restaurants in the P&O, yes. but uh, even then, they weren't over the top. No. We did no. Shindu, that wasn't, you know, in your face. It was Sindu. It was Sindu, Sindu. sorry, <laughs> I <laughs> pronounced that wrong. You know, it was nice, it was, it was nice in there, yeah. but it wasn't like over the top. That was probably my favourite, though, theming in the Sindu, that was really yeah, nice. Yeah, that was nice yeah. in there, yeah. yeah. And then just comparing the two apps, because they're very uh, useful, you use them every day. The app on the P&O felt like it needed a lot of work. Yeah. It didn't have many features. It, it didn't have, uh, you, you could see a few things, but it let it down. Yeah. Whereas the MSC app, you, you could do everything on there. You didn't have to think, oh, well, with the P&O, we had people saying to us like, oh, well, you've got your Horizon magazine, but you don't always want to carry the magazine around. No. Whereas on the MSC, all the information was on the app. It just seemed a bit more detailed. And yeah. I think a better thing with the apps, a massive, massive difference, especially if you've got teenagers that want to roam yeah. around on this massive ship, mm -hmm. or you've gone with other um, guests. Fans, family. Or the family, whatever. Yeah. Is the MSC app offered a messaging service so it was which like was a, free yeah which was free you didn't, need, you their didn't wi -Fi. need to use their wi-fi or your own data or anything nope. like that and like i think that you know was really really good because like you say you want to let your teenagers go off but you yeah. also want to be like you've got to be back at this place for yeah, a certain time come back to the room for such and such dinners such and such you can send pictures to each other as well because on the iona we were with other family members and that would have been so much easier if like the MSC we could have had like a messaging service because yeah. it would have been it just would have made things so like so much easier yeah. so the staff on both ships were you know absolutely amazing mm -hmm. you know they are from um, various different countries throughout the world so they are very yes. interesting if you get speaking to them yeah. about where they are from but also just bear in mind they are both um, they are all the way from like the families and things like that so they do have a tough job and they've got trying oh, to keep yeah. all passengers happy exactly yeah <laughs> you can have an off day you know everybody has an off day but in particular on the pando um iona you know they were they said good morning did they, yeah, they were yeah. friendly it was yeah. not at all that they weren't friendly no, we no. didn't come across anyone rude the cabin mm. steward in particular was james. amazing yeah, james he was really yeah good. it was really really good but I would say that on the, and let me just point out actually on the Iona, we did have a problem with the room. Um, yeah. It was just a hairy copy that needed the uh, Ubering. Yeah. But they did, it was just a quick, please, can the room just be you with the carpet? And we ended up with flowers with like a little card from the, so that was a yeah, nice touch. Yeah, from the manager. And that's, you know, great customer services. Yeah. But I would say the staff on MSC were they went like you know when you just get great customer services and yeah. then there's above and beyond yeah. they were like above and beyond they wanted conversations with you yeah what you could compare it to in a way was the p and iona staff mm -hmm. well let's say alton tower staff whereas yeah. the, the msc staff were disney world staff <laughs> yeah. they were happy they were smiley like you say they were trying to make your day a bit better yeah, they were just really, like, like I said, like, you know, p &O, it was like, you know, hello, you know, yeah. great like that. But they wanted, like, conversations with you, like, where you oh, were yeah, from, like, yeah. but, you know, they were just, like, they were just, Try like... Try and go over the top yeah. and just be nice to make your holiday a bit I felt better. like they, um, maybe P&O, like, you know, have um, a more thingy 
like standard to withheld because I felt like yeah. they could kind of like joke more on the MSC yes. with you. And I know it is always touchy with jokes and stuff in customer services. There's always those that you're gonna offend kind of thing. Like so you oh, do have to yeah, were... tone it down in some places. Yeah. But I felt with MSC they were a bit more looser with like trying to make you laugh kind of thing yes. and having a joke and yeah. like I said that's not always for everybody. Oh you know? no. <laughs> but no we can't knock them at all on either shit really. And again I think it's like what you prefer some people are happy with just a hello and i don't want to make conversation no, no. whereas us we like chatting to people yeah, and yeah, like yeah. you know getting to know people and things like that and so we liked that side of yeah. MSC. the vibe of both ships we felt the piano was just a bit more toned down whether that is because it's aimed at the more traditional older kind of um passengers yeah. Whereas the MSC... I mean, they are getting younger passengers yeah. now going on, but whether that'll change over time. Yeah. yeah. But the MSC, because there was more things families. to do. There was, there was more, more families, families and yeah. kids and stuff, so it was a bit more lively. You know, not rowdy. You know, there was discos and bits like that. Yeah. You know, whereas you still had your quiet areas. Yes, yeah. But if you had kids, you wanted to like, run around and burn off a bit of energy so they could go sleep. There was an outside disco, you know. Mm. Whereas, like you say, the I the Iona just felt a little bit more subdued, a bit more. Let's all just sit down and have a drink and a chat. Yeah, maybe like a read or something. Or you know, there was shows quieter. and stuff yeah. like say, but you know, especially in the atrium. Apart from the odd thing, it was just a bit more. Let's just sit here and yes. chat. Yeah. Right. So let's talk about the food now. So you've got Pino on one hand, which is a British ship. You know, so it caters more to the British. MSC even though you can get it from Britain, is an Italian, yeah. more of a European-y feel ship. So bear in mind, you know, if you're more of a Sunday dinner kind of person and don't yeah. like to try other things, then p is probably going to suit you a bit more. But before we get on to like food specifically, I just want to say about the restaurants on both ships, what I did like about the Iona was that it was freedom dining. Yeah which meant that you could pick which restaurant you wanted to eat in each night. You weren't allocated a table every night. No, or and, a time. I, in a, or a time. And, I, you know, I did like that. But maybe that was because as well, on the Iona, the main restaurants were kind of, two were kind of in the same place, but above each other. Yes. Whereas and the other few... Two were, were in different Yeah, two were, they were in different places. Yeah. So you could like have a different view each night whereas yeah. on the virtuosa they were kind of like in the same place at the back of the ship yeah so i suppose by eating in the same restaurant and at the same table you weren't really messing much kind of thing not really um, no i mean but i did like the choice more on the iona instead of sitting at the same place yeah now um like I say with the food we did say p o is catered a bit more obviously yes you can get I think some nights we had like, you had a bit of Chinese food. Yeah. You know, there is other stuff on them. Because in your main restaurants, you just get a menu. Mm -hmm. And it's like, changes every night. Yeah. Um, silly little things. Like, you could tell the piano was trying to do better. It was like, the plating was a little bit better in these restaurants. Yes, yeah. Now, if you're like us, and plating goes out the window because you're just goes, wolfing that food down. Goes in one or yeah. comes out the other, like, regardless of how it's plated. <laughs> People don't need no bar, <laughs> they? But, uh, facts, facts. <laughs> but no, the plating from Pino in your main mm. restaurants was a bit nicer. Yeah, they put more effort into yeah. it, didn't it they? It made yeah. it look, because you've got your little dots and stuff on your plate and you, your stuff's fanned out. And yeah. It makes it look like it's a bigger meal than it actually is. Well, it probably wasn't, though. I no. think both portions were the same. And bear in mind, cause people might not know this, like, you can ask for as many rounds servings as you'd like portions, kind of portions yeah <laughs> rounds the round of pie um you can ask for so if you do think oh could eat that again ask for it again yeah, like yeah, it isn't just the three course and then like that's no. it um but yeah i wouldn't say one portion was bigger over the other like no. say i think it just appeared to be because exactly. it was maybe spread out and presented yeah. better and then say one other thing which doesn't bother us it was silly little things like the plates on the msc mm -hmm. You know, like when you stack your plates, white plates, and you get them little scratch marks and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. had a couple of them on. Really There's more wear and tear showing on, like the. Yeah. Yeah. But, things. you know, if, if that's a big no no for you, what can you 
can you do? It was a um, fun atmosphere, I'd say, on the MSC. Yes. Um, the chefs were out dancing one night. And, uh, <laughs> well, they were... Oh, yeah, the chefs, sorry. Yeah, the yeah. chefs, the yeah. waiters. Yeah, they were all kind of like dancing. There was another night when... Um, there was two guys dressed as chefs. There two guys dressed, <laughs> up, dressed as chefs. They were like throwing like knives and things swallowing around, swallowing knives. knives and stuff, and, yeah. Uh, so that was like more of a fun atmosphere. Yeah. Service was great in both. Yeah. Again, I just think that on the MSC they kind of made a bit more um, of an effort. Yes, to you know, they spoke to you. We see, we saw him speaking to tables of people and they yeah. were like chats and stuff. We saw a lot more of them on the MSC celebrating birthdays and yes, things like that. They else. came out like banging, banging the. So if you've got a special <laughs> occasion on there, they seem to make a bigger deal out of that. Yeah. We didn't see that on the Iona. No. But whether that was just because it was no one's birthday, no one was yeah. celebrating anything, I'm not sure. We he seemed to be constantly going on on yeah, the MSC. Yeah, there they were was always banging out, night. singing "Happy Birthday." Um, another thing as well in the restaurant. So the gala evening. So it was gala evening on the Iona and elegant night on the MSC. MSC. Both menus were fantastic, but what I liked on the MSC was it was it wasn't it wasn't compulsory. So if you didn't want to dress up, yeah. you weren't summoned to the buffet no. that night. Whereas on the Iona, it was dress up and join in, or your only option yeah. is the buffet tonight. Yeah. And I did like on great if you want to dress up. But people oh, love yeah. people love it, don't they? Yeah. People absolutely love to dress of up. They and, do, yeah. Um. So then you'd be better on the you know the P and O. But whereas on the MSC, it was kind of if you wanted to, you wanted to. If you didn't, yeah. you didn't. Because there was people in there. There was. Somebody, all the gentlemen dressed up with the dicky yeah. bows and stuff, and then we saw a huge table with yeah. multiple families on, and whether it's because they've got kids and they couldn't be bothered, didn't have time. There was a guy just in a t-shirt and jeans. So. Now that doesn't bother us. That's why nope. I liked the attitude more towards on the MSC. Yeah. But I also get from other people's point of view is it, if you're going to do something like that, it looks better if everybody does it. Yeah, yeah. I get, I do get that. Yeah. Well, not everybody's got a suit and a no, dicky bow and stuff no. like I had to buy one kind of thing so you know if you don't want to same again on the msc there was like a white party theme in one night some people dressed yeah. all in white some people had a bit of white some people not at all yeah and again i like the if you do it do it if you don't you don't attitude yeah they're more. not going to exclude for us, you for us personally yeah. yeah so like the buffets now uh it's a little bit different on the msc it's one huge buffet it's yes massive. so yeah there's so much choice on there it's mm -hmm. like say it's absolutely huge Whereas I felt on the Iona, their buffet was a lot smaller, oh, yeah. but it wasn't that there was less choice. They had more places to go in each, such yes. as like the Keys where you did like your fish and chips. They and had more the... places on different decks to go to. Yes. Whereas on the MSC, it was more like in one big buffet. It was yeah. one massive buffet that kept repeating itself. Uh, so, you know, you weren't all crammed in at one point for the world food or this food or the salad yeah. bar, it, repeat, it was massive. You'd get your steps in walking around that buffet. That, I wouldn't say one ship had more choice over the other. It was just on the AI owner. Just because there was more places, yeah. like, it isn't fair then to say there was more choice than the virtuoso. No. Because the choice was there, like you say, it was just on the buffet in one place kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Yeah, so like say, you got the free place at the Keys. And then also kind of Olive Grove, which yes. is kind of half speciality and half included shall we say because some stuff you had paid for mm -hmm. some stuff was free yeah so, whereas like and that's where you got pizza from whereas on the msc they make constantly day and night they're making these pizzas in front of yeah. you aren't they they've got the pizza ovens because it's italian pizzas pasta it's all made on the ship so bear in mind yeah the best fish and chips you could get was certainly on the keys hands down yeah. on the p and o i own it yeah but then to give it to the virtuosi their pizza and pasta oh was the best but of wow. course on the on a british ship the fish and chips is going to be best and on That's an italian it. cruise line their pizza and pasta is going to be the best yeah. so you know each of them adds I mean, it depends what you like and it? It. Yeah. it's your it's your taste so you know don't just listen to us you know they've both got good choice but it's all down to your preference and what i did like on the msc uh, virtuoso better at their buffet was you had to wash your hands before you went into yes. the buffet and they served it on the plate for yes, you I like that. and I, I did like that more whereas you kind of got yourself at the io and i don't even want to go into some of the things that you see when people are helping themselves no, it's um, yeah it's not nice no. 
Um, and obviously, they did have hand sanitising stations. People used them, some people didn't. Yeah. But I did like the mandatory hand washing yes. before you went to the Virtuosis Yeah, buffet. that was good, that was. Right, so uh, both ships had speciality restaurants. We actually did two on each one, so yep. we kind of got an even thing about it. Loved all four of them. Oh, I yeah. loved the, the two we did on the Iona. Loved the two that we did um, on the Virtuosa boat. All four good value for yeah. money. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I love them all. As we said at the beginning, the speciality restaurants on the Virtuosa were more enclosed, better themed. Yes, because we did the Mexican and teppanyaki, so you felt like you were in a Mexican or, or a proper teppanyaki restaurant. Yes. Whereas on the Iona, we did one of uh, the Keelan Cow, which was kind of in the atrium so it was a bit mm -hmm. more open we had people walking past in towels and stuff while we were eating yeah. the steak and we were a bit yeah. like i didn't really want to see that yeah and then we <laughs> had it to didn't bother us too much no but, but you don't want to see it when you're no. paying no you know 50 pounds or whatever plus for a we steak. were on the uh, norwegian mm -hmm. fjords cruise so whether if you're like on a canary in the height of summer you yeah. get more of that coming through exactly yeah yeah but uh yeah so that was an, more of an open one but then we did sindhu which was a more enclosed one like you say and mm -hmm. that felt a bit nicer as, yes. as you're paying for a meal you just want to be in there with only people <laughs> eating the meals let's be fair yeah you always see people walking past in the towel oh, Shit, no, no. no, what's the state no. like? Somebody walks yeah. past and they've got a wet towel and it touches you, you're like... <laughs> <laughs> both have got a good choice of different specialty restaurants. Yeah. So, uh, like I say, both got steakhouse. Uh, one does like curry, one does uh, mm -hmm. Vietnamese. You know, so there is different differences and we can't compare them all. But no. it's a good variety for if you want a nicer meal for an occasion. Yes. So cabin wise for the rooms, we did have a balcony room on each ship. Yep. They're pretty much standard. I don't have to think on cruise ships. There wasn't too many differences between no. them. Um, the only things we point out that Iona had a much better wardrobe. Yeah, it was like more of a free compartment wardrobe. Yeah. Whereas it, the MSE was like a two compartment. Yeah, it almost had like another compartment you missed the, dinted, you missed the name yeah. to it yeah so there was much better room for your clothes on the iona so on the iona when you went in our bed was by the wardrobe and then the yeah. sofa was by the balcony doors mm -hmm. and then we switched on the virtuoso yeah. and we ended up with the um wardrobe by the doors yeah and i don't know if that made a difference but on the virtuoso it did feel a little bit more Open. like open a bit yeah. more wider I between the sofa and like your desk it felt a bit more wider yeah because obviously that was the same but the other way around yeah but what what was easy was that your bed wasn't by the wardrobe so you didn't only have like a one foot gap to try and get into your wardrobe but obviously on the iron you can get rooms that can. way around as Both well so you can. yeah that was just it's not an msc on. thing no it no just, no yeah that was just a, a room thing on either ship now, the carpets and the decor on the Iona was more like creamy and like beigey. And it was like, yeah. oh, okay. Looking at it, I preferred the look of that. Because when we went on the MSC Virtuosa, it was like a dark green colour and greys. Yeah. And I was a bit like, hmm. But the MSC, uh, sorry, the p and Iona one, because the carpets were that creamy beige, they did appear a lot more dirtier. But it looked like more wear yeah, and tear. Yeah, sh stuff showed up on them more. We were going through the fjords, and some mornings our balconies where the sea had like sprayed up and all the salt, the, the balconies were absolutely soaking. So yeah. people are obviously going out there in the morning, looking mm. out at the views yeah. and treading all that back into the carpet, and it showed a lot more yes. on the Iona. Yeah, it did. Uh, like I say, pretty much similar room. There was very small differences. Like, no. um, the hairdryer was built in. You didn't need a separate plug for that on no. the MSC. That was no. in its own drawer next to the mirror. Mm -hmm. uh, there seemed a few more drawers in the MSC for a bit yeah. more storage. The bathrooms, I, I know this sounds silly. I liked... I didn't notice the day. I thought they were just both the same. I liked the, the bathroom a little bit more, even though they were very similar. It was just like the sink looked more modern. And just silly little fixtures that yeah. looked a bit more modern. Um, now, balcony-wise, we thought it was a bit, little bit narrower on the MSC than yes, the Iona. Yeah. We felt like we had a little bit more room to walk. But we dropped on both... Um, with both balconies, no yeah. one was overlooking us. No, um, we were on like the flat. I think on pod. the MSC we could see down to some bodies. We cut a few floors down, we could, yeah. But both, um, I don't know if this is a new cruise ship thing, but both cruises in both rooms 
we experienced the creaking. Um, yes, like, I don't know if it's because it's night. new or something, but the pictures were, and that were creaking in both rooms. We yeah. did have to get earplugs for the Virtuosa. <laughs> And yeah. we are prepared for next cruise. We've, We've already, already got some, some um we've already got some earplugs, yes. so we're getting prepared already. And we have had a comment saying that they take uh, door wedgies to put in between yeah. the panels. So it might be an idea for I the can't really say it was more or less cre- creaking on either ship. No, but um both stewards were um amazing. The cabin stewards were both amazing in both ships. Yeah. Um oh, also the entertainment on your TV. A lot better on the P and O I own it. You had um, all, lots of free movies. All the movies were free. Yeah. There was some TV shows, they were free. Yeah. Whereas um box sets, not T V channels, mm-hmm. sorry, the box sets were free. Whereas on the MSC you had to pay for all the movies. Yeah. And they were eight pounds each. That's ah, ridiculous really for renting a movie. Oh, the good thing to t- uh, to say as well actually, um MSC you had a room clean also in the evening as well. So yes. they changed the towels, made your bed. I yep. think they hoovered as well. So whereas on the P&O, we didn't get that. We didn't get an after, like an evening turn down. Turn down. I think, down. I, think I think you used to do with P&O a buy a gather, yes. but they stopped doing it for some reason, whether cutbacks or, but they are still continuing to do that in MSC. Yeah. And then last thing, you got magazines each night. Yes. Both of them. Yeah. So, uh, you know, did both magazines just let you know yeah. what was where. Oh, and then one small of a little difference as well was the plugs. All the plugs on P&O were British, apart from uh, the hairdryer and the kettle. They were European, but yeah. there was one European one to plug them in by the mirror. Whereas on uh, the MSC, they were American and European. So just take a couple adapters with you, or like we do, we've got a, a four-pin travel USB plug that's got all three of them on. Just yeah. get something like that and you'll be fine. Right, so entertainment-wise on the cruise ships, they were, in part, very different. Mm-hmm. The main theatre on the MSC was kind of like Broadway shows, dancing, like singing, like New York-style, West Endy style yes. There was no talking. It was the same entertainment team every single night, just doing a different themed show. Yeah. Um, there was no talking. There was no interaction with the crowd. No. It had a more, like professional kind of feel not like professional because the other yeah one i know what you're trying like to more say. like west end broadway kind yeah of thing. more it's more of a, a show like they've got dancers singers set pieces there costumes was, there was less variety whereas on the p and o in their headline show there was like a solo female singer country a, western woman country western there. woman there was like a comedian a, a comedian a magician they um, also had um a group coming on uh, that do different cruise ships. Yeah. Um, oh, I forgot the name of them now. Pulse? No, no. we'll put it on. Uh, they Odyssey. Were, Odyssey, that's, that's Odyssey, the one. Yeah. They were amazing, but they weren't p and uh, exclusive. They said they went to different cruise ships. They did yeah. Norwegian and Royal Caribbean and other stuff. So. so, yeah, there was like a clubhouse at the back and it had like a very... Um, yeah, yeah. How British do we delicately like, put this? Yeah, um, it probably is like what you'd see like years ago when like the working men's club. It's like club a posher working men's night. club. A posher it's Phoenix. not as bad as Phoenix <laughs> <No. night. laughs> It's not got it's, Max and Paddy outside. No, but it was like a posher Phoenix night. It's like, do you know what I mean? Like, I go do, do, do. Oh, you know what? Like, all that like kind of thing. They had like um, a, a comedian on. A very British comedian. Yeah. yeah, very like chubby brownish kind of thing. Not as, not as, Thingy as Chubby Brown. Yeah. Very like, maybe Peter Cage then, very British. A cross between the yeah, two. Yeah. Um, where he did take a mick out of a few people sitting yeah. at the front like. Uh, and then they also had like, like see, the, the, the comedian, we watched the comedian, enjoyed them. But yeah, then they yeah. had him, um, I think that was the band you were thinking of, Pulse. I think where it was. It was yeah. like a guy and a woman, and they were terrible. Phoenix Knights. Just, they yeah. Were, they, uh, we, that wasn't our taste. Yeah. People enjoy them. But that really wasn't our taste. Um, so, yeah, you get that more British vibe from the entertainment on the P&O. Yes, both, had, uh, both ships had karaoke. Both had a silent disco. The one on the Virtuoso was much better, in my opinion. It was in, like, the gallery Virtuoso bit, and it had kind of like a DJ on, on the top. Yeah, there um, was, like, a walkway between the two sides. It was kind of encouraging it. It was in a weird place on the Iona. It was in the atrium. Yeah, we didn't like All that. of a sudden, like, people were sat around in the atrium. There was, like, a, you know, this, like, kind of 
piano music playing in the background, people are having a quiet yeah. drink, and next thing they came with this big table in the corner, set up for this silent disco, and it became this rowdy kind of like thing, and it was just seemed like very out of place. And what also I didn't like about the silent disco on the piano was there was two kind of playlists, so you yeah. picked one, so you had half the people singing one song, and then half the people singing another song, and it, it felt weird, whereas like say the yeah. MSC one was more of there was a DJ doing it, so everybody yeah. was the same, so, like, you didn't see some people doing oops upside your head on one side. And, um, and the Macarena on the yeah. other. Yeah, <laughs> so there was just silly little bits like that. Both, um, both ships offered, offered you an opportunity for paid shows on the Iona. It was the Limelight Club. Um, it was there like was like a dinner show. Singers from, it was like a dinner show, yeah. yeah. There was, like, singers from, like, The Voice. I think it was more like a solo singer, a guitar kind of thing. Yeah. The paid shows on the Virtuosa were not singers or dance shows. They were two like um Cirque du Soleil inspired shows yeah they were brilliant so we they were really them. really good the, the, the stuff on the Iona didn't appeal to us um, no. weren't interested I think one was like Lee Mead who was like a West End star they, ch- in the they UK. change all the time yeah they know. change but that's the kind of vibe yeah. they were going with whereas whereas yeah the two shows they do one every other night and we only caught one of them mm-hmm. we're not going to try to pronounce names because they were weird names. no it was amazing. There was people. There was a Cirque du Soleil uh, stage that they helped to yeah, create. Yeah, so it's a permanent stage that's yeah. set up. Yeah, and it was circular. You were around the stage. There was a screen that people were running along on the wires mm-hmm. with different backgrounds on. It, that was really, really worth it. But if you do want to do that, pay for that before you get on the ship. It's it's nine pounds instead of fifteen pounds. And also, um, I on the Iona, the Limelight Club was very, very popular. And again, that was getting pretty booked up. So I think to do that yeah, before yeah. you get on the ship, yeah. yeah. But again, both are optional. You do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. Exactly. And then just to kind of compare, but you can't. P and O kind of advertised it as a Cirque du Soleil kind of show, which was show, free. Which yeah. was this was free. And other people have said this in comments. It was terrible. Yeah. We were waiting all week for this rise it was, show. It was in the dome part of the ship. Yeah they, yeah, they covered up the swimming pool in the middle. And we were expecting, like, kind of more acrobats and more people gliding yeah. around on a rope and stuff. It was terrible. <laughs> so don't feel like... You wouldn't even mind Ramford. paying extra for it if it was going to be amazing, like on oh, the Virtuoso. This was terrible. But yeah, I think they probably big it up and advertise it as, and you'll probably be a bit slightly disappointed. We, we were, it was on for about <laughs> 10 minutes, and that was 10 minutes too long, in my opinion. But one thing I did like on the PO was their 710 Club. It was a small, little, intimate venue. Now, you do have to queue up probably 45 minutes before it opens. But it was free. This was our favourite entertainment on the island. Yes. It did change now and again. We caught two different acts. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one we saw a couple of times was like a band. Uh, there was a guy singing. He was on the piano and then yeah. a drummer and a couple of guitarists. They were really, really good. I really enjoyed them. Yeah. Uh, like I say, that was probably our favourite thing to do. But the only thing that was annoying was you had to queue for 45 minutes. Yeah. It would have been better if they give you like a... Remember when you used to go to the supermarket and you get a ticket from the meat <laughs> counter and they'd be like... Six, they would have been better off queuing, getting the ticket, and then going and sit back down for 45 minutes. Yeah, but you, yeah. Because uh, there was a couple of pillars in the way. So if you didn't get right at the front, which we didn't the first time, we did no, have an obstructed view. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you want to get in there. You want to be first in the queue. Mm-hmm. Get them first six or eight seats at the front, and then you've got a really good view. But the band was amazing. Yeah, I really enjoyed a, that. a good mix of songs and... It's probably about 45 minutes long. Yeah. I was going to say, actually, yeah, sorry, the head, the acts in the main theatre were probably about 50 minutes, I think, on the Iona, whereas on the Virtuoso, they were only about 35, so they were yeah, a bit yeah. shorter. And also, on the Iona, you could take drinks into the main theatre. Yes. You couldn't on the MSC. Nope. So, But then the shows were shorter, so, yeah. you know. Yeah. So there was more like... Um, parties not like not like 18 to 30s parties no. but on the there was more like themed events so on the msc virtuoso you had like a white party a mm-hmm. sail away party a coming home party a space party a space party kind of thing yeah. so again that was all in the gallery of virtuosi i loved the that's what I was a bit disappointed with on the io and it was our first cruise we were kind of sailing away from southampton and yeah. there was nothing no, there going was no, on. There was no music playing. Nothing. There was no like. There was nothing. Whereas on the Virtuosa, 
that we had like we had like a sail away party and that was yeah, just so fun. Yeah. It really got you into like the Yeah, got the night going and you yeah, got you in, yeah. into the mood. You got you excited, you were sailing away to somewhere. So I did like that touch more. And also it was nice on the elegant evening on the MSC we actually had a captain's speech. Yep. And the senior all the senior staff came out, so like your chef you had chefs, your head of housekeeping, yeah. your head of engineering. So that was nice. We never actually got that on the Iona, there was no captain's speech, there we was... never saw any, we never saw any senior staff. No, on the Pino, yeah. they just did it over the tannoy. Yes, I think he just said, like, welcome on board the ship, yeah. blah, 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 but he actually toasted us on the MSC, which yeah. was a nice touch. Also as well, sorry, um, on the MSC Virtuosi, it's an Italian cruise ship. In the afternoon, about 3pm, in the main headline theatres, they had opera shows. Oh, so yeah. So if you're into, like, your opera music, um I don't think that was every day, though. Uh, I know one day it got added in the last I minute. I think he did it. Yeah, I think he did it twice or maybe three yes. times when we were there, but they did add an opera show, So, but that was, like I say, in the daytime, yeah. so I thought I'd yeah, put I that away if you like, yeah. like opera music. So, as in things to do, you know, MSC Virtuosa wins, hands Smashed. down. It had, you know, it had so much more to do. Yeah. It had your, the things that it had that, that Iona didn't. It had your basketball court inside, your football um yeah. Got your football court. It was like a, a, a multi sports use. <laughs> yeah, right yeah, but I think Tim. It had, let's reel these off quick. It had a 4D cinema, it had a bowling alley, it had a VR headset, it had two <laughs> F1 simulators, <laughs> and it also had like little arcade machines. All those are paid for extras. Yeah. But uh, all well worth it. We did all of those. Um, we did a video about that. Go watch Dan. They had, um, the MSC Virtuoso also had water slides, they yes. had a Himalayan bridge that you could go yep. on at the top, mm -hmm. um, that was free. Yep. They, they both had cinemas, MSC Virtuosos was outside. I yeah. loved the theatre, I loved the cinemas, sorry, on the Iona, that was really it nice. It was like four smaller... And it was free. Yeah, yeah. they were like four smaller uh, rooms and they were constantly going on, whereas the MSC one was outside and it was like every other so night. So weather dependent, mm. whereas it was constantly going on, yeah. On but if it was a bit chilly, you could get a, an MSC cover. Yeah, uh, yeah. A little branded cover to sit on and watch if it was a bit cool. So yeah, so the Virtuosa had like ping pong tables, uh, football tables, yep. foosballs that were free. They didn't have a pool table that the um, Iona did. And I did mess a pool table because we do like a game of that. Yeah, <laughs> it's hard sometimes on a... A cruise ship, when we played on the Iona, we were in the rough seas and the balls were rocking yeah, about. Yeah, so it's not really a fair game, but then it wasn't on the bowling on the Virtuosa either. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> so, um, uh, kids club wise, there was kids club and things to do for kids on both ships. Yeah. Maybe more so on the Virtuosa, their kids clubs like seems a lot more to it. I think like, I remember they've got like Legos and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, uh, kids' discos. It seemed like things. there was a room where they had like little Nintendo Switches and yeah. games like that. So maybe there was a few more things for kids to do. Yeah. On the the Virtuosa, uh, both had casinos. Oh yeah, both of them had the casinos. Very similar. So it, like say in general, the MSC was obviously more jam packed, full of activities that suits us better. That's yeah. what we enjoy more. I own it. There were still things to do. Um, there wasn't as many like activities, planned activities through the day on the island. It was more relaxing. Scene. But yeah. again, each to their own. Do you want to jam packed when you're on holiday? Do you want it a bit yeah. more relaxing? Exactly. Obviously, we're, you know, with the Asian thing where we want a bit more jam packed, you know. But obviously, as anyone gets older or oh, whatever, you, you, you want to be a bit more you relaxed. Do what you want to do. Do you want to yeah. go on a cruise and on a sea day, do you want to sit in the hot tub all day and just watch the sea go by? Or do you want to have more of, you know, an activity led day so you're not as, yeah because maybe some people would like to be busy oh sorry the iona did have a um a football thing but it was they did have ping pong tables as well it was on the deck yeah, underneath covered the, the thing with those ones was they were only available, available all the time you no know, when there was a worker there to give yeah. you the equipment whereas uh, the ping pong table it was it there, was all, there the all the time so we used to go at night and have a quick go after dinner and, and stuff and we never ever saw anybody playing because they had like a golf thing outside on the yes. iona um, not like a crazy golf it, like no it was it. like a driving range where you were like in a net a very yeah. short net never saw anyone nope. playing there was a little football court again never, never saw, saw anyone playing whereas on the virtuosa there was you could go in at your free leisure and yeah. play or there's also like Five aside competitions, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It was actually an organised event. We never saw anybody on when the, we were on. It was Father's yeah. Day on the MSC. Yeah. 
and they had a Father's Day five side tournament. Yes. You know, and they had different things like that going on. Obviously, it was better because it was indoor, whereas on the Iona, it was obviously weather permitting. If it was windy, we said it was better. We were sweating quite a bit playing basketball. Yeah, well, yeah. uh, Glass windows. (laughs) (laughs) On a a nice day when you're sailing and the sun, be nice outside. But on a windy day, yeah, Yeah. no good. (laughs) Both had gyms. Both had gyms. Both had spas. Both had running tracks. Um, The Iona had like a gym, a gym, a gin making things oh it's had a little gin do. distillery yeah. that was paid for that was an extra yeah or you could just watch them through the glass window it had like a i think it's the only distillery at the sea or something they were saying at the time but the virtuoso had a big chocolate shop and we yeah we liked that so that chocolate <laughs> shop was delicious that was paid for as well by the way yeah it wasn't free chocolate unfortunately <laughs> yeah so obviously that's a video over and done with now we have just tried to do this video to help you guys um obviously it's just our opinion on this yep. Um, the two different companies, um, even though the ships are a similar size and things, similar they are, when you actually get on there, they, they are different. Yeah. And we just wanted to share some of that with you and give some tips. Um, I would say that personally, we had a great time on both of the ships. We really did. Yeah, yeah, Akona yeah. was the first one. And, you know, a few weeks later, we did the MSC. Yeah. I felt the Virtuoso was better suited for us. Yes. It had we more liked, activities yeah, for, we liked for the fact, us. Yeah. Personally, but I would say for us, we probably enjoyed the MSC one a bit more. Yeah, and like I say, everyone's different. Yeah. You know, if you disagree with us, tell us nicely. Yeah, you can respectfully disagree. Yes. Agree to disagree. Don't tell us we're wrong yeah. about our opinion. We like to hear yeah, your yeah, opinion, yeah. but some people think if their opinion is different, then you are wrong. Yeah. Nobody's right, no. nobody's wrong. We all like different we things. We've just done this yeah. to try and help. Because like I say, similar, silly little things like if you're a family, you've never done a cruise for it and you were looking at these two ships because, yeah. you know, both of them are going around Europe at the moment, you know, similar-ish routes sometimes. Yeah. And you're thinking, which is going to be better for us? We're just giving you a few tips, a few ideas. And then on the, like, shoe on the other foot, you could be, you, you've had your kids, the grown up now, oh, yeah. you've done all inclusive holidays, you've been on jam-packed holidays. You might now want that relaxation of not having to hear kids going down water slides yeah, yeah. or having all this. So you might want the opposite and the Iona exactly. one suits you yeah. more. Do you know what I mean? We're or... just trying to help people make a yeah. decision. Yeah. Because it's your money at the end of the day and you don't want to, you want to spend it wisely. But just going off this video, we have got two cruises booked and obviously we're probably likely to go more with the company and the ships or whatever that we enjoyed more. But if you want to find out what ships we're going on and when we're going, you've got to hit that subscribe button. Yeah. Give us a like. Like I say, give us a nice comment. Yeah. We'll, we'll <laughs> reply back to you nicely if you comment to us nicely. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye.